Hey guys, and welcome to another midweek stream at the Funky Kids Show Live. I'm Winston, your host. And uh, yeah, it's a midweek stream, so it's more of an update than anything else. And uh, we got a couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, and uh, mostly scalpers, miners, and Bitcoin. Yes, we'll get into that in a bit. But uh, yes, just getting the stream up and running, and everything's looking good. Uh, Lily Forever 7, hi, how's it going? Good morning, yes. <laughs> it's good evening here in Hong Kong, but uh, yeah, good morning to you. And uh, yeah, got a couple of things uh, lined up for you guys. Uh, more about news and announcements, uh, kind of updates, and uh, we got a great uh, uh, kind of lineup for next week as well. So let's get things rolling and uh, have a look at the website and see what's update on our website. So let's quickly go over here. Uh, we got a couple of reviews uh, published uh, Monday, Tuesday, and then today. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we have this one, the Patriot Viper V330 as a stereo gaming headset review uh, done by Chris. So this one is one of the most affordable ones I've seen so far. It's like $40. Uh, it's got you know a little bit of uh, you know uh, stereo sound and it's great for gaming. Uh, let's click in there, have a look. Yeah, I mean um, very nice. Oh, uh, uh, this this. Uh, speaker also speaker the microphone actually uh, slots in into the head head uh, head cups ear cups yeah it kind of slots in so it hides it away so it's quite nice and uh yeah nice thick braided cable usb uh yeah 33 dollars come on guys that's just a bargain so head over there and check out the review by chris it's uh, the viper uh, the patriot viper v330 gaming headset stereo gaming headset and then have a look where else we have the Terramaster F2 4 to 2 and it's a 2 bay 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, NAS drive so uh, earlier uh, in our last show we mentioned about uh, a NAS drive then network attached storage and it's great for um, you know storing files video files uh, music uh, movies anything that you think needs a lot of storage Get yourself one of these because then you can actually plug that into your network and you can have a, a network drive uh, with 10 gigabit. Well, you need, a, you need a 10 gigabit switch and they're not too cheap and it can be a bit pricey. But if you can get yourself a 10 gigabit switch and you have a motherboard or a network card that supports 10 gigabit, then this is going to be super. You get like uh, super fast speeds and uh, it literally you can just stream it off and watch videos on your TV or on your monitor, whatever. Uh, great little device. To check out the review by uh, Bard, uh, Terramaster F2 4 to 2, and it's a 2 bay 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, NAS drive, NAS storage device. Yeah, so yeah, uh, they're not uh, cheap either. <laughs> this one you're looking at about 300 or 350 or something like that. Um, yeah, here you go, 360. So it's not cheap, but eh, it's a good uh, device for storage. So you want to check that out. The review is on our website at funkykit.com. It's Terramaster F2, 4-2, uh, uh, 2-bay, 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, NAS. All right. And then also we have uh, published uh, earlier, this is the Viper uh, V77 uh, mechanical gaming keyboard. Very nice. So you want to check that out as well. And then I think we mentioned this earlier. Nice RGB keyboard very nice mechanical keyboard check out check it out we've got a couple of reviews lined up for tomorrow as well uh we have the uh asrock b560 uh steel legend and that is uh the using the b560 chipset which allows memory overclocking and also supports all the latest 10th and 11th uh, intel generation processors so yeah you want to check that out it's tomorrow i believe hardware advised hi how's it going Mark, uh, how, hey, how's it going? Good. All right, cool. So those are the reviews uh, on our website. You'll want to check that out. And some news. Uh, let's have a look at the news. Some interesting news. And then we'll get to the bottom of it. <laughs> uh, Microsoft, uh, yep, yeah, the Xbox wireless headset. Very interesting headset. It's wireless and it's suitable for all the Xbox. And it's wireless. Uh, because you've got the, you know, the spatial sounds, the Dolby TTS, that kind of stuff. So... Yeah, it's coming out soon. It's about $100, so not badly priced. Uh, wireless. Hey, how's it going, Fred? 
Enemax Liquid uh, Liquid Max 3 ARGB 360 all-in-one cooler in the white edition, Snow White edition. Very nice. Uh, interesting news as well. Corsair acquires visuals by Impulse. So uh, as you know, Corsair has been on a buying spree. They've got like you know, Elgato, Scaf Gaming. They they bought a load of other companies, including this one, Visuals by Impulse. So it's like a, a design platform for creators. Interesting. So there's some news there. And uh, and then we'll get into this one. Uh, internet cafes around the world have started to do mining. Yes. Um, you know, because internet cafes are a great place to socialize as well as play games with your friends and things like that. And uh, of course, with the pandemic, lockdowns and stuff like that. So they haven't been getting a lot of business. So it's, it's very difficult for them. Uh, for the, caf the uh, internet cafes. So the only way they can actually make money is mining. Yeah. Um, it's we'll, we'll talk more into that because I think I need to say something. It's more of a rant than anything else. But uh, we'll get into that later on. But yeah, it's crazy. Uh, people are uh, uh, mining all over the place. <laughs> Good and bad. But uh, yeah. So uh, moving on, then we have uh, other news. You know, the, oh look at this, twenty-four inch uh, IPS monitor, very nice from Philips. Uh, oh, I like this one, the Sony Compact FX3 compact uh, cinema camera. Uh, as you know, I do a lot of uh, streaming videos and things like that, and I'm starting to actually do some filming, more creative filming. Um, not just you know doing the unboxing and reviews and things like that. I want to do a little bit of creative filming. Uh, a little short movie or something like that, but I need um, a proper nice camera, and I'm still using the Sony 6300 uh, 60, or 6400. That works quite nice, uh, but I think it's time for me to upgrade a little bit and then maybe get a, a better camera, better lens, that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to kind of delve into that air, air, that kind of scene, see if it works. It's, it, it costs money. The cameras they're expensive. All right, the other news is, of course, the GeForce RTX 3060 is meant to be coming out on the 25th of February. The price has gone up before even released. So retail price, uh, according to NVIDIA, is around about 329 US dollars. Um, there are, you know, retailers online are selling at double the price. So, yeah, not, not a great thing. Not a great start to 2021. I was expecting I'd be able to get one of these for, you know, 350 is fine. But double the price? Hmm. All right, so those are the news happening on Funky Kit. And remember to check out the reviews. We've got some great reviews lined up for tomorrow and the day after as well. Uh, these are the current reviews that we have. And then, um, yeah, let's have a look at the AMD 3D site. Our sister site, this is all about AMD, uh, AMD related, Threadripper, Ryzen, Radeons, Xbox, and even PS5, this stuff like that. So we've uh, got some news, updates. Um, there's first pictures of the Sony PlayStation 5, uh, the SOC kind of die, the actual chip itself is actually being, you know, people taking it apart and actually f uh, photographed it. So that's interesting. Uh, reports of uh, hardware, sorry, hardware, CPU failure on the Ryzen 5000. So I'm not sure if that's a, a, a true story. I, I haven't had any issues with my Ryzen 5000, so uh, it could be just a bad batch. But, uh, but in any case, if you do experience problems, remember to always keep your box and also your receipt. But uh, yeah, um, it could only happen on the higher end Ryzen 5000, but who knows? Uh, I Again, I haven't had any issues with the Ryzen 5000, so uh, maybe it's just a bad batch. But yeah, remember to keep your box, box and also your receipt. Um, then we have this one. It's, I like this one. This is a gaming laptop from Electronics, uh, I believe that are either a German brand or something, but Prometheus, yeah, Prometheus uh, the XV11, uh, uh, how can I put it, it's a, it's a 17, yeah. <laughs> uh, laptop powered by Ryzen 5000, uh, but it has a RTX 3080 in there. It does look very nice, I like the design. Uh, incidentally, I mentioned last week or the week before about me going mobile, so um, I wanna be able to stream kind of on the move so if i can get a nice decent powerful laptop not but not too heavy 
it has to have a, a decent amount of uh, spec in it, like 32 gig RAM, at least a terabyte of SSD, a nice powerful Ryzen processor, and you know, I might even go with one of these with uh, uh, an RTX 3070. I think the RTX 3080 might be a little bit too pricey. But anyway, that said, uh, again, from last week, there was news about people now using laptops to mine. <laughs> cryptocurrencies hundreds of laptops all lined up man oh my god anyway uh we'll get into that in a sec all right so yeah that's interesting and also the news is this one um uh sapphire have it's they're gonna bring back the the toxic series uh i'm not sure if you remember back in the day they had the uh sapphire had toxic series of graphics cards and they did with a rex super high end very expensive uh this one has eight plus eight plus six pin power connectors imagine the power consumption on that uh so they say it's around about 400 watts 450 watts i mean whoo <laughs> that's a lot uh but yeah they do a little short kind of um kind of a sneak peek kind of a teaser video see if i can play this i don't want the sound too loud so let me just play that and then turn off the sound there you go yeah have a look at that and what do you th see what you think um yeah it's very nice look at that uh, it's well it's uh it's their toxic series i guess yeah that's it that was, that was a short teaser video i don't know what <laughs> i don't know when it's available but hey uh, if you're into uh, Radeons, then uh, this is something that you want to be looking out for. And uh, that is basically it. Uh, Xbox doing some uh, cloud testing, the cloud gaming, similar to G GeForce Now. So they're doing something for the Xbox uh, Cloud, X Cloud Gaming. Uh, you want to check that out. So that's pretty much it for MP3D. Again, it's more of a, a kind of a update news related to gaming, uh, AMD related stuff as well. So, yeah. All right, so let's get back to the main screen and let's have a look at the chat. Let's see who's online. Hey, Syed, Emma, Emma, Sam. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Hey, Joanna. Hey, Fred, Scumberg. Cool. Everybody's online. All good. All right, so I mentioned uh, in our chat, in our show um, a couple of weeks ago, that I want to get this number up. So this number up here, see that there? 6,870. So we've got another 130 left to get to the 7,000 mark. And once I hit that, uh, we'll be giving one of these away. Yes, it's a Ryzen processor. Um, yes, Ryzen, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's got a bit of thermal paste in it, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll give one of these away uh, when it hits uh, 7,000. All right, so once the the follower counts hits 7,000, we'll do a special show and uh, we'll be giving one of these away. So uh, yeah, tell your friends and family or, or whoever, spread the news. Get that number up, and I will be giving one of these away live on the show. All right, cool. Hey, princess, how's it going? Hi, sir. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes, it does support the B550, so uh, that will actually work. So if you have a B550 chips uh, chipset motherboard, then yeah, that that will slot in no problem. All right. Okay. So uh, let me get this rant over and done with. So. Uh, Earlier in the uh, in my Twitter feed, I've actually uh, posted something um, which it was more of a rant. Um, basically, uh, this thing came up on our feed, and um, I thought, well, this is a bit, um, you know, a bit. It's not very tasteful, if you know what I mean. So let me just bring up the website. Okay, so you see that there. So this is my twi the Funky Kid Twitter feed, and this kind of came in, right? So Zotac USA posted this, um, you know, hey, an army of uh, Zotac gaming GPUs hungry for coin. And Instagram is actually at PC.lad. So they they taken this from PC.lad. And it, the, this guy here probably had a row, like you said, a, a mining rig with a load of graphics cards, Zotac graphics cards. And I thought it was a little bit tasteless. Not very tasteful having, you know, this, especially with the controversy with uh, miners, GPU shortages and, um, you, know, you know, scalpers and stuff like that. It's it's, it's not not nice. I mean, of me, uh, I've been in industry for many, many years. Right. So so for me, I mean, I don't even have a chance to buy a graphics card. 
I don't even want one for free, all right? I want to buy one. I can't even get hold of one, right? And trust me, I do not want to pay over the re recommended price. You're telling me if I want to get an 83080, I have to pay like $2,000 or, or $1,500 for a, for a 3080 when the actual retail price is only 699 right? I, I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, they're available. Scalpers have got them. They just ripped it up from you know the all the stores and online and and the bots are claiming them all up and and then you got the miners grabbing them all for money. I, I fair dues. The story about the uh, internet cafe, you know the 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 miners. Uh, it is hard for them to make a living, especially with the internet cafe. People not go into these premises due to lockdowns. And then you got these. You know, uh, it's it's what I'm saying is Nvidia and. All the manufacturers out there, they should try and at least kind of like, you know, do something in place. Have some a system in place where, all right, okay, customer, all right? If you're a genuine customer, uh, maximum, maybe two or three graphics card. And, uh, and I must congratulate, mind you, EVGA. EVGA is doing a good job, right? Because if you go to their website and uh, you can order the graphics card, it's literally, I think, one or two per household. That's fair dues. I mean, that's, that's a good way of uh, kind of, you know... Uh, handling it but i mean the rest of the guys i mean they're just who cares first first person you know they want to get a hundred then yeah sure sell them yeah they make their money yeah they make their money fine i mean but like you said for me i'm not going to pay more than double for a graphics card when it really it's 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 just ridiculous um so yeah you could make the money yeah you could be proud that people are buying your graphics card for for mining and stuff like that, but don't post it on your social media and, and be kind of, hey, look at this guy here. He's actually bought like 10, 20, 50 graphics cards from us with Zotac and then, you know, put them on to the, the social media and like brag about it. I mean, it's not a bragging thing. I don't think it's right to brag about that, right? So that's my rant over. There you go, said it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so moving on. <laughs> Let's. Oh, we haven't got a mods of the week by uh, by the way. So um, I'm gonna quick go, quickly go to the uh, extreme PC and modding group. So uh, let's go to the the page right now, and I'm just gonna scroll through uh, maybe some of the mods that we have online. So um, oh, by the way, uh, don't forget to. Uh, uh, you know get tuned up for the show so this is going to happen on the 27th it says 28th but it's, it's the time zone but 27th is the um uh show so 27th uh, 10 a.m at uh est and of course uh gmt would be to 3 p.m yep and then 11 p.m uh on the 28th uh Hong Kong time. So uh, we have Mike. Mike Petrons will be back on the show, and we'll be talking about some of his latest, um, you know, updates. So I think I can click on this. Have a look. Uh, I think we can. Yeah, we can click on that, and um, just have a look at the uh, list. Yep, we got this thing called. Uh, we got upcoming projects. We got this upgraded mod crib. So I guess it's his crib <laughs> his modding kind of workshop i think he's upgraded it maybe is it, or is that a project name or something but yeah so we'll talk about that and also uh project this is preference perseverance robot so he's got like a a mod or something so it'll be interesting to see some of his updates so yeah tune in for that show uh happening on uh oh so yeah actually this one right here it's on the 1 p.m. EST, 7 p.m. Central Eastern Time. So, yeah, I'm getting my time zones all messed up. But, yeah, go ahead and check out the time zones uh, uh, on the Facebook. Yeah. So, Mike Petrons will be back on a show Yeah, in on the 28th. Cool. All right. So, let's have a look at some of the... Uh, let me just close that and have a look at the... Uh, the. Oh, look at this. Very nice. I don't think I've seen this one. This is interesting. Uh, it's got the uh, water block in there, ROG motherboard. Uh, I believe it's is that thermotic? No, oh no, it's not. But yeah, very nice. All in one, kind of not all in one. Uh, they've got all the water blocks in there. Nice hard tubing. Yeah, I quite like this one. It's very nice, nice and clean build. 
I'm going to give this a, a good old 7.5. <laughs> oh, here you go. This green as well. Oh, is that the... Is that the system running? There you go. Very nice. Oh, ROG. Yeah. ROG. Looks like ROG case in there. Yeah, very nice. Look at that. Very nice, actually. I'm quite impressed with this one. Nice, clean build. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So, that. And uh, this is also interesting. All in one. It looks like a Cooler Master. All in one. Uh, Star Wars Stormtrooper kind of theme there. It's got a nice RGB strip right here. Very nice. Um, 2060 in there. Ooh, nice RGB effects. Look at that. All in one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got the GPU kind of support bracket right there. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to give this a 7. Nice build. Nice clean build. All right. Moving on. Let's have a look at this. Ooh, oh, oh. It's a P3 build. Very nice. A Thermaltake P3 build. Uh, I've I've always liked P3s. Thermaltake. It, it's kind of, kind of like shows off all the components and everything. So not too bad. I like that. A nice clean build. White coolant. Hard tubing. And um, last, well, on Sunday, remember, oh, sorry. Yeah, meant Sunday. Monday to show we had. And I mentioned that we're going to build a system, right? So uh, I think you guys all said, oh, I'm going to go for the uh, Ryzen processor and also hard tubing. Yes, I'm still thinking about the components. I am figured that, that yep. so we're going to kind of talk about that later on, maybe in the show or uh, in our next show. Very nice. All right, okay, so moving on to the next one. Scroll down, we have, oh, this is a man cave. This is what we call a man cave. So, uh, for people who don't know what a man cave is, <laughs> it's just basically a room where you can put all your gadgets, computers, consoles, TVs, everything. So, look at this. This must be massive. That's just uh, that's more of a living room than anything else. <laughs> oh, I like this one. It's got the stars on the on the ceiling. So, I actually want to get one of those. I want to get one of those that project the LEDs and lights uh, or stars kind of thing on the ceiling that looks really cool. All right. This one's not too bad. It's very uh game roomy kind of thing. Got the nice sofa there. All right. Okay. Ooh, very classical looking with the pool table, jukebox, and uh stuff like that or poker. You got to have a poker room, poker table, yeah. <laughs> And that's more of the other one where we have the pool table. And this is a this is a attic seating. Is that a pinball machine? Oh sorry, bowling machine? Something. Uh yeah. Arcade machines there and uh you got the pool table. I don't see no PCs though. Uh classic pool table, sofa, big TV. Aha! There you go. A PS uh, PlayStation fan here. <laughs> Not bad. I like the RGB effects on the wall. It's got this uh, wooden cabinet. And of course, you've got the, all the controllers. And uh, a nice little kind of uh, beanbag chair. Very nice. Relaxing. Yeah. Game night. Look at that. Game night. But where's all the PCs? They must be hidden away. All right, cool. Next one. Uh, oh yeah, we got the uh, you got the football kind of uh, <laughs> oh, and the dartboard. Yep, yeah. that's a nice uh, design for the the wall. Uh, console gaming. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, here you go. And the pool table. That's more of a um, that's more of a community lounge, right? Hmm. Okay. Cool. Ah, that's pretty classic. Pac-Man with the joysticks. Classic joysticks here. Atari. <laughs> Atari uh, console there. Uh, oh, they got a machine where you actually get, like, yeah, snacks. Cool. M&M's, yeah. Reese, uh, yeah, Crunch, yeah, Skittles. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, okay. Ooh, this one's a wine connoisseur. Yeah, on champagne there with the poker table. Very nice. Ah, we got some PCs, finally. All right, here we go. A nice big 
at that I'm, I'm guessing it's a 40 inch possibly it's and then you got nice three screen maybe 24 or 30, 30 inches then you got the pcs there very nice very nice uh more game room Boom, here you go arcade there chessboard at the top of the ceiling nice design wow look there this was hey, it's got a dance mat there dance machine game here cool and ah here we go more pcs nice nice curved monitor nice big tv there consoles you can see nice gaming chair i need to i need to get a, a gaming setup a gaming room eventually <laughs> all right okay so that's just basically a game um kind of a man cave uh, let's have a look at more stuff right here um uh, oh dlss yeah version 2.0 you want to if you guys got that go and check it out uh if you got an nvidia graphics card apparently it gives you performance boost yep so download it load download the latest drivers you get the dlss 2.0 oh guys yes this video is live not right now so if you want to head over to the funky kit uh youtube so let me just bring that up youtube it's live right now i say live it's it's posted up uh it's basically the uh quick unboxing and first look at the asrock b560 and it's available to watch right now at the youtube site uh funky kit so check out the uh, our YouTube channel. And remember to subscribe as well. All right. So um, I'll that's pretty much it for for the mods of the week kind of thing. Uh, we'll have a more more in depth one on Sunday. Okay. And uh, I want to announce also the giveaways. So giveaways we mentioned in our last show. Um, this one got the winner, Matt Jason. Uh, Jason born matt jason born so he won that he actually claimed the prize and then on the on the fun kit site uh we have the prize giveaway that was uh won by heather okay so same motherboard but actually on our amd3 site won by heather unfortunately she still hasn't sent me her full name address and telephone number contact details so that we can actually sh uh, act get Azrock to ship the prize over so we're gonna give her seven days so we have like two days left so Heather's got two days left to claim the prize if not we're gonna have to actually uh, relist it uh, prize giveaway this coming Sunday so we're gonna give um, this motherboard live on our show on Sunday if Heather doesn't claim it by then all right guys so as unfortunate but the rules do stipulate that you need to uh, put in or claim your prize within seven days of the announcement so yes heather if you're listening uh make sure you send me your full name address and telephone number so that we can actually sh uh, get asrock to ship this prize out to you if not then uh, it will get relisted and then we'll do a prize giveaway of the same motherboard on uh, this sunday show coming all right okay so those that that's pretty much done and then uh we will uh have a new prize giveaway after that so uh, as rock every month we'll have a new prize giveaway and uh, we could also include other manufacturers uh and vendors to include prize giveaways every month uh based on um you know uh, what's happening in the next couple of weeks so yeah we could have new prize giveaways from other manufacturers so look out for that okay uh that's said then um I will also have uh, a couple of new things to give away as well uh, in not the next week. Uh, the, I think this the week where we have uh, Mike Petrons on our show. We're going to have a nice uh, prize giveaway. And don't forget, on Sunday, uh, we have this to give away too. The ASRock B550 Tai Chi. Yes, uh, that was mentioned uh, in our show right there. See that there? Um, right there, we have the uh, uh, B550 ASRock. So if we can bring that... Uh, review up uh b550 tai chi and um ooh, tai chi tai chi tai chi here we go uh we're gonna be giving this away uh in our live show there this coming sunday and uh yeah here we go this is the one and um check out the review as well there's a review and a, a video you want to watch that as well uh this is going to be given away to uh to our twitch subscribers okay don't forget that so if you want to be able to or eligible to win this uh you need to follow us on uh, twitch and also become a twitch subscriber 
this is what we're gonna start doing every month we're gonna have a, a, a premium prize for twitch subscribers okay and then also of course we have normal prizes for everybody else no problem of course we'll keep doing new prize giveaways <laughs> all right cool so that's all mentioned up uh i had a rant about uh scalpers and miners earlier just my rant uh, i mean you know fair dues is is everybody's game um you know people gotta make make a living i guess and uh if they want to do that then that's fine that's all up to them but uh but i think it's down to the manufacturers and in, especially nvidia uh they need to do something about it as well because it's just getting ridiculous uh, especially when you have a gpu shortage and uh you know it's the touch it, the topic is very sensitive right now and uh for for manufacturers and, and vendors to to up their price uh and also you know brag about it it's not really it's not very something that you, you should do but anyway um and you know congratulations to evga for doing the right thing so thanks all right and then uh let's talk about uh oh before we do that let's have a quick break shall we but before we do that we can have a, a look at the chat hey madman mods how's it going <laughs> Hey, did you get your uh, uh, prize from last from last stream? I think the stream before. I think he won a, a baseball cap, right? And then uh, Sayez already got his prize. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, Big Mike will be uh, next week. Yeah, so not the Sunday. It's the following uh, Saturday, which is the twenty. I think it's twenty seventh. I believe. Let's just get the calendar out. He's on the twenty. Yeah, twenty seventh uh, evening um so 27th evening that'll be european time um that'll be afternoon est and it'd be quite late in hong kong but it's okay you know i can cater for everybody <laughs> and then we'll talk to mike about his up-and-coming projects and stuff like that yeah so uh yeah it could be a while because of the pandemic and the prizes are being shipped out um streamlabs is uh, kind of handling that cool APS switch, hey, APS Twitch. All right, cool. Don't forget to tune in for this uh, Sunday show, where we'll be giving away the uh, the Asrock B five fifty Tai Chi to our premium prize for our Twitch subscribers, and then we also have possibly the Asrock B five fifty M Steel Legend, uh, which if Heather doesn't claim the prize, we'll give it out alive on our show cool to figure guys get that number up get that subscriber up to 7000 and then we got another prize giveaway live to give away as well yes it's a processor amd ryzen 7 i'm not sure which model it is i won't tell <laughs> but yeah get that number up and then we'll uh, give it away live in our show all right cool so we're gonna have a break and we'll come back and we'll talk more about bitcoin because that's where it's all happening right now. Bitcoin to the moon and beyond. All right, so enjoy the break and we'll be back after this.
Hey, and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that little short video. All right, okay, cool. So we're gonna get back onto the topic of things and it will be uh, Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin has shot up to the roof, to the moon and uh, possibly going beyond. <laughs> yes, $51,000 uh, a coin. No wonder uh, the miners are in it and they're in it for real. <laughs> yes. So, you know, I, I had a rant earlier about uh, scalpers and miners. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's unfortunate that this whole thing is, you know, we do, we've seen the same thing, but, you know, 2017-18 when, you know, the, there was GPU shortages with the uh, uh, 20 series and stuff like that. Uh, but st uh, still, um, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, it's annoying. That's what I'm saying. But hey, if Bitcoin is at $51,000 plus or more, then uh, all fair dues and people are just mining that stuff. I mean... Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, it's not just Bitcoin. It's also uh, altcoins. Okay. So what we call altcoins, alternative coins, and those are basically, you know, uh, Ethereum. There's XRP. There's uh, Doge coins. There's um, there's a load of others, right? So so what people do is they mine those coins instead. Uh, I'm guessing it's kind of uh, I won't say easier, but more uh, um, readily available with the right software. And then once they mine all those coins, they can actually convert it back to Bitcoin or transfer uh, exchange to Bitcoin. So um, yeah, it's 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 happening. It's it's you know it's the way it is. It's the future. So uh, resistance is futile. Yeah, it's futile. So <laughs> yeah, so Bitcoin. So if any, if 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 you ever, you know, if we had a show earlier with uh, Sam Reynolds, and uh, he's from Blockworks.co, so you can go and check out the the video. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually um, available on Twitch now because that was a, a few weeks ago, uh, but also is available on YouTube. So check out the uh, the shows the live stream. If you missed that, you go check it out. He talks about uh, how cryptocurrency has grown, and of course, there's lots of um, ways to. Uh, make money off it so but do disclaimer i am not a financial advisor uh, and or i'm not giving you any financial advice okay so disclaimer but i'm just saying it's more of a topic to you want to discuss and um yeah so check out the video uh the stream from uh, previous shows uh, we had sam reynolds from uh, blockworks.co and he talks about all that cryptocurrency um you know thing about cryptocurrency so it'd be like uh, exchanges wallets and all that kind of stuff how institutions are getting into involved uh, last week we had uh, Tesla buying in like 1.5 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin uh, PayPal is already on there uh, they will have bigger uh, institutions going in to to invest in Bitcoin so yeah it is gonna stay uh, will it drop uh, uh, I, I wouldn't say it won't drop but it won't drop as as crazy as the last crash right it, it will probably steady for, hold around about 50 plus and then uh if it goes beyond that uh what we call resistance level then it'll go, possibly go up to 60 70 even 80 who knows but uh because of that of course you got the miners and um fair dues i mean you gotta make a living and if um if that's the way to to make a living then uh why not but bear in mind you do a little bit of research because it's not just about hooking up a computer and let your graphics card do all the mining. I mean, one graphics card ain't going to mine you a lot. I heard it's around about $18 a day. Oh, sorry, a day? Maybe less than that. I'm not sure. But um, but imagine the power consumption, right? And the heat it produces. Because uh, no, three years ago, I did try that. Uh, with my spare graphics card and oh my god the amount of heat it produces the amount of noise it produces because it needs cooling and it's it's for me and electric the electricity bill no it wasn't worth it for me so uh, uh no it wouldn't be the ideal way to actually uh get bitcoins the al the alternative way is to actually buy and sell but um again it's something that uh not everybody's able to do so yeah bitcoin um, let me just bring out a graph. You can have a look. Uh, I use, uh, I think it's dot CoinCap, CoinCap, CoinCap.io, right? So this um, this is just basically a kind of leaderboard chart. Uh, let me bring up the website. Here we go. Uh, of the Bitcoin uh, market cap, total one point five three trillion dollars. 
is actually all in the Bitcoin space, also oh, cryptocurrency space. Uh, right now we have, look at this, uh, Bitcoin's on top. It's the mother of all cryptocurrencies. It has the biggest uh, share uh, of value. So out of all the cryptocurrencies, I think it's more than 65% of uh, cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. Then you, next is you've got the market cap next is the, uh, Ethereum. Ethereum, uh, then Poltergot, uh, Poltergot, yeah, Polkadot. I mean, that's 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 new. Uh, recently, I they, it's been a few around a few years, but then it's shot up to third place. So, uh, yeah, this one is interesting because it's a new type of uh, technology. It, it pairs kind of like blockchains together. So interesting. Tether is uh, what we call a stable coin. So it's one to one. So if a one tether or USTD, uh, USDT is issued to one dollar, apparently. So uh, it's a safe haven kind of safe stable coin. So if you don't want to like sell and buy and you've had enough for the day or the week, then you can convert that all to uh, USDT and just leave it there. It's just a dollar, right? That's what they say. It's backed up per dollar. And then you got the other ones like Car Cardano, XRP, and all the others. These are all what we call altcoins, and a lot of the people do is if they if you have the right software to mine these, uh, then they what they do is convert those coins or altcoins back to Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is more of a kind of you know the mother kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. All right, cool. So uh, I I'm not an expert in big, uh, cryptocurrencies. Or bitcoins or anything like that i'm just uh one of the you know people who are into kind of the news and stuff uh do i have any yes i do have like a fractional <laughs> of course <laughs> like 0, 0.00 i don't know how much it's like 0. 0.000 but uh yeah I, I do dabble in it and um it's it's something that you know you have to get involved to a kind of get a kind of basic understanding of what cryptocurrency is about and it's it's a good way uh, if you want to play around or dabble with uh, cryptocurrencies, try the try the altcoins. You know, you know there's altcoins under a dollar. Uh, and, and remember, do do not put all your savings into this. It's not uh, ideal. All right, it's just spare money that you have, and you might want to put in there, have a play around with it, and get kind of get to the grips of you know understanding what the cryptocurrency is about, and then you can go in and maybe invest. But um, it's not going away. Uh, and uh, crash-wise, I don't think it'll be a bigger crash than last time. It, 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 it'll probably hover, it'll stable around this level right now, and then before it'll take off towards the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, who knows? I mean, it's, 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 it's here to stay, so you might as well embrace it and, and try and understand it a little bit. All right, there's loads of uh, information about cryptocurrencies on the net. Do a little bit of homework, study a little bit, go on and research uh, best way to is is do the research and then kind of you kind of understand it a little bit more. All right, so CoinCap is what I use for kind of a leaderboard kind of tracking of what where the currencies are, how much they're worth, that kind of stuff. And there's loads of other exchanges which you need to get involved to buy and sell, and also uh, that's on the exchange. Once you do that, you want to keep your cryptocurrency safe. Then you could offload that to a uh, uh, what we call a cold storage wallet, whether it be a an app on the phone or you know, USB or maybe a hard drive. But uh, yeah, do some research and figure it out yourself. Okay, cool. All right, so let's have a look at the chat and see who's online. Dem ben DevOps, yes. Emma, how's it going? Ben uh, develops uh, many Chinese have ICOs and mining. Yeah, yeah, they they. I think uh, since uh, more than a couple of years ago, they've been really heavy heavily into mining. And in fact, uh, I would say, uh, in fact, you could do a research. Do a research. You say how many coins are being mined, or which countries are being mining the most coins, and you'll know. You notice it's China. Yeah, China is doing a lot of mining. Uh, well, not just Bitcoin, all sorts of coins. And uh, they're developing other coins as well. Uh, I think they bring out a, uh, what's the currency, Yuan? Yeah, they're going to bring what these digital currencies they're going to be. But yeah, it, it's it's a way of, you know, I think people now or companies are now developing tokens or they tokenize, what they call tokenize their, 
their uh, value kind of thing. So it's it's a way of like, hey, you know, don't give us cash, give us some tokens or convert to cash, or convert to tokens instead. I could have a Winston coin. <laughs> you could invest in me, okay? <laughs> I could have a Winston coin. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Jay Zion says, uh, Winston, I just want to follow over prize already. Uh, Phantom Gaming headset stand. Oh, it's not, uh, it's not actually shipped out. I uh, did ship it out for a while back. Um, you might want to check out your local, um, you know, mail depot. Uh, have it has been shipped out. I'm not sure where it has been. Uh, you might have to check it out. Yeah, because uh, pandemic, you know, and uh, shipping is a bit of a pain but uh all right cool with that said uh let's do a live prize giveaway shall we yes and of course it's the yes this week's live prize giveaway <laughs> cool so let me set it up uh, we have 10 minutes and um we're gonna give away a t-shirt again this is a the funky kid t-shirt and um remember guys if you want to support us as well you can always go to our merchandise store at uh, streamlabs.com slash funkykit slash merch okay and you'll be able to buy baseball caps mugs uh t-shirts hoodies back backpacks string bags and all sorts flip-flops mouse mats <laughs> get over there streamlabs.com slash funkykit slash merch all right, so I'm gonna set this up, and uh, we have uh, ten minutes, and it's a funky T-shirt, and I want you guys to type in. Oh yes, for this uh, prize giveaway, for any viewers on YouTube or Facebook, head over to Twitch.tv/funkykit, okay? And then of course, make sure you follow us, hit the uh, chat, and this is what you need to type in the chat, okay? And it's plus. I want your t-shirt <laughs> yes so this is it that's right I want your t-shirt plus I want your t-shirt that's what you need to type and you'll be in for a chance to win our exclusive funky t-shirt yes <laughs> oh I can see them all coming in Aries 25 Ben DevOps yeah princess Joan yes all right so remember Head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit. Go into the chat and type in plus I want your t-shirt. All small caps, all together, no spaces. I'll type that in for you. In the chat right now, this is what you need to type. Okay? Okay, so we've got 10 minutes. Let that run. And then uh, I want to talk about some of the price giveaways that we have. Right? It's just a reminder. Okay, so head over to the... Uh, Funky website, and then we have our prize giveaways. Don't forget, this one is happening on the 21st su Sunday, and uh, we have the prize giveaway Azrock B550 Tai Chi. It's uh, what we class as a premium prize for us, the Twitch channels, uh, Twitch subscribers. Okay, so exclusive only for Twitch subscribers. It's a token to say, hey, we you know we we appreciate your you subscribing to our channel. All right. So with that said, uh, that's only available for Twitch subscribers. And don't forget, we got this one as well for you guys, for everybody to enter. And this is the uh, as the the Intel Core i7 8700K processor along with the MSI Z390i motherboard. Very nice. It's uh, a combo which, uh, yeah, very nice. We've got the processor right here. Yeah, look at that. Retail price back then was $350. Not bad. There and you got the motherboard too. Very nice. Uh, yeah, we got how many days left? We got how many days left? We got eleven days left for this one. Twenty seventh of Feb. So get in there, and that's that'll be the same day that uh, we'll be giving the prize away for. Uh, yeah, and Mike Petrons will join the show on the twenty seventh. All right. So yeah, don't forget. Go to our website and subscribe. Watch the videos. Head over there and do that. You'll be in for a chance to win this nice prize. All right. Okay, cool. So let that run. Yeah. Plus, I want your t-shirt. <laughs> cool. 
right let's have a look at what's happening at uh i think i think this year is going to be very similar to last year uh, i hate to say it but yeah it looks like it's going to be very similar uh we have like the pandemic still going on and then the the uh the vaccines are still slowly being uh pushed out to different countries and that um if everything goes as planned and by end of april may all the vaccines are being distributed um which <sighs> fingers crossed hopefully it could um but they have to you know do the elderly first and all the emergency workers right before we hit uh, our age group and then the you know the 20s and 30s and stuff like that so it might take a while uh with that said uh i know i would love to go to computex this year in taiwan but it's unlikely that it could happen so that's the that's the bit, bad thing and then if by everything by the end of the year the vaccines are in full steam rollout full steam ahead then ces could be a thing but we'll see yeah we'll see because I, I do miss the shows uh because i get to see all the people involved in the shows i get to talk to them and then i can actually get the product in my hand to see and feel the product yeah so uh yeah we'll see yeah incidentally we have a couple of interesting uh shows lined up for later on in next month we have uh in fact we'll try and get as rock so as rock will be on our show possibly about march time uh we'll be discussing some of the products new products um new motherboards new graphics cards and stuff like that and uh, we'll talk to the product manager uh at as rock so we're going to get that hooked up and then uh towards the uh end of march april we will probably have uh patriot yes patriot memory so uh, patriot uh being one of our sponsors and uh, they've been really good to us as well we have uh we talk about uh memory so uh ddr5 yes not the graphics card chips uh memory chips we're talking about desktop memory we'll have ddr5 coming out soon uh and that is probably supporting um some of intel's latest next gen next gen processors right <laughs> so we'll talk about ddr5 and we'll also talk about their latest pci4 ssd so patriot uh that'd be interesting to have you on board on our show and uh yeah be interesting yeah so we've got some lined up uh shows for you guys so looking really looking forward to it all right let's have a look at the chat hey hey mike <laughs> welcome to the show <laughs> yes we're just talking about you <laughs> yeah you're gonna be on the 27th of uh february and uh, we're gonna be talking about your projects up and coming projects some new projects you could talk about some of your latest uh, designs on your cases and uh yeah interesting and uh also we got a live prize giveaway that we can announce as well doing that uh that show and uh yeah yeah madman mods will be one of the uh followers he'll be on the show and also guys if um if you know if you don't know mike mike patrons is a renowned modder he's based out in belgium and he has a instagram page head over there it's instagram instagram.com slash mp customized okay so let me just type that in for you in fact actually i'm gonna have it here we'll do that right now because uh you know you know we're loving everybody all right okay so instagram let me just tap that instagram instagram and it's dot com slash mp customized here we go right here head over there give him a like give follow him and then um yeah we've got some mods in there look at that some nice mods yeah so we'll be talking to mike on the 27th and we'll discuss some of his latest projects so yeah don't forget is mp customized let me uh type that in the chat for you guys so you can actually head over there and give him a, a follow all right cool and i think i've got that on our facebook as well let me just head over to our facebook page um this one here i think yeah this one yeah it's on our show right there here we go yes up and coming yep we got mike patrons in our show coming soon cool and don't forget guys uh merchandise top screen right here you'll see the uh, merchandise is our funky kit merchandise make sure you go there if you want to support us 
get yourself some merchandise. The uh, streamlabs.com slash funky slash merch. All right, cool. I think the uh, the prize giveaway countdown is done. Let me just check. Oh, we got a minute and a half left. Okay, cool. Let that run for a bit. Nice. <laughs> Mike, Mike Petra says, uh, will be a great show, bro. Of course, of course. Yeah, we'll have some fun on that one. I'm going to make it a bit longer than the usual hour. And we could talk uh, a whole range of uh, topics, including uh, events, uh, of course, including some of the um, uh, designs that he has. In fact, we might even talk about some of the up and coming projects. You're going to have to help me out here. Uh, in our show last in our last show, I was going to build. Uh, in fact, I mentioned every year that we build a two two systems for the year. So when the beginning of the year and one towards the end of the year, and it's a, a custom build that we have from our sponsors, a, a sponsored build. And uh, I mentioned in the chat in our last show. Uh, a thumbs up for AMD and a thumbs down for Intel. And they both give us a thumbs up. So we're going to use an, an AMD system for our next build, our AMD processor. And I've got the board, so no problem with that. So now next is all the other um, components. And I asked if we're going to go for AIO cooling or a hard tube. And they all said hard tube cooling. You're making my life difficult, you guys. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so Mike, we need some help here. Um, some advice on what type of hard uh, cool uh, hard tube coolant we can use uh, both in terms of the radiators the pumps the distro plates that kind of stuff so we can we could discuss that kind of uh, spec in our show on, on the 27th okay Mike <laughs> in fact we could yeah we could talk about some designs too I mean it's not just about fitting the tubing uh, and putting the radiator you know in, in on top of the bottom but we can actually talk about some of the designs maybe we do something different um maybe we can actually do a a kind of a, a I almost say scratch build but a modified build uh case we can get a case and we can just chop it up a little bit more maybe in fact we could get you to help us out with some laser etching okay you know not crazy just a maybe a front panel or something like that or a side panel get some laser etching on there because i know you're doing some nice laser etching right so yeah, maybe we can get that uh, laser machine that you have into good use. <laughs> and it's just an idea, so we'll see. We'll see. All right, so, uh, yeah, the prize giveaway countdown has done. And uh, we've got some T-shirt to give away. Yes, the Funky Kit T-shirt from our merchandise store at the uh, streamlabs.com slash Funky Kit slash merch. Remember, if you want to support us, you can actually go and get yourself merch by going to streamlabs.com slash Funky Kit slash merch. Okay, so... Uh, yep, let's, the prize giveaway has ended and we're going to give it a countdown. I'm going to pick a winner. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to pick a winner right now. And it's Liddy for, uh, Liddy for seven. You are the winner. Woohoo. Yes. Yes. Let's give you a clap because you deserve one. And um, because you are. Awesome, awesome. Well done, well done, well done. Lily for some of you are the winner. Remember to actually click on the link uh, to claim your prize, okay? And Streamlabs will uh, ship it out to you. So well done. Congrats. Nice. Cool. <laughs> So Lady Forever Seven is a, uh, a su subscriber on our Twitch channel. So thank you for subscribing, and don't forget to tune in for this Sunday show because then uh, we're giving away the um, yes, the B five fifty Tai Chi, and uh, make sure that um, you know you join the show because if you don't, then uh, you won't be able to win it. <laughs> the B the the Azrock B five fifty Tai Chi. So this coming Sunday, don't forget. Uh, and then Madman Moss, you're also a subscriber as well. Make sure you uh, tune in as well for the Sunday show, okay? All right, cool. So, uh, this, yeah, this is more of a, a midweek stream. So, earlier in the show, I had a little bit of a rant about miners and scalpers. And um, and then later on in the show, we talked about Bitcoin, a little bit about Bitcoin. And um, so, it's more of, a, more of an update stream. And uh, we'll have a main show on Sunday. So Sunday, we're going to have a, a live prize giveaway for our premium uh, Twitch subscribers. And we'll also have some pri other prize giveaways as well. So tune in for that. And I uh, also have an unboxing of the Lian Lee. 
Yes, or Strymer or Strimmer. I call it Strimmer, but it's a Strymer. So it's, it's actually this one right here. You see the LGB lighting. It's the extension cable, but then that allows you to get all the RGB going on there. So I did an unboxing and actually fitting onto another system. So you can watch the video of that in our next show on Sunday. And uh, it's not as hard as you think to install that kind of stuff, but more to do with the cable management. You'll see what I mean in the video uh, in our next show, okay? Guys, I think... Uh, oh, Madman Mods, you can't join a show. Oh, okay, maybe... Uh, maybe you just turn it on. Uh, if you have a mobile phone, just so switch on to the Twitch channel and um, just type in the command of the chat so you don't have to watch the show entirely you just need to enter your uh, uh, the actual uh, command phrase for that uh, competition or our prize giveaway all right cool so i think that's it for today uh, remember to join our show on sunday we have some nice prize giveaways we have a nice video uh, an unboxing on the installation of the lian Li strimer or strimmer plus RGB extension cable uh, then we got uh, of course some nice topics as well to cover uh, we got another, a couple of more reviews out this week uh, tomorrow and on Friday and of course we got the uh, right now the uh, video on YouTube which is the ASRock B550 uh, Steel Legend uh, supporting all the 10th and 11th generation Intel processors I don't have the in the 11th gen processor in hand so we tested that with the 10th gen but uh, this motherboard is not too bad it's very nice it's a Steel Legend um, nice kind of mid to high, not saying high, but more mid uh, range kind of uh, mainstream board. Um, but fairly decent. Go and check it out the video. And the v, uh, the video will be, uh, uh, sorry, the review will be up tomorrow as well. All right, cool. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining and uh, we'll see you Sunday. Be safe. And remember, it's the Funky Show with Winston. So see ya.